Welcome. In this tutorial, we'll cover how to schedule work so you can visualize plans and see who's available and who's overbooked. First, make sure you have scheduling enabled in workspace settings. Then go to the schedule page and you'll see projects and team tabs. They both show your team's assignments just from a different perspective. For example, the projects tab shows you all the projects you've scheduled in this time period, their milestones and total assigned hours. You can expand some projects to view who's assigned to work on it and when and how much. You can search for a particular project or client here. And choose a different time period here, like next week or a custom period like the next 10 days. When you switch to Team tab, you'll see the same data only broken down by team members and their capacity. You can expand some users to see their assignments in more detail. To better see the schedule, you can zoom in and blocks will become larger so you can see the full text. Let's now cover how to create a schedule. Let's say we have a new project and we want to schedule people to work on it. We'll create the project on the Projects page. To create a project, go to the Create New Project, name your project, and then you can click Create. After you've done that, go to the Schedule page, click on Add Project, and select the project you've just created. To create an assignment, click on Add Member and select someone. Now we need to define their assignment. Let's say the person we've selected needs to work on this project for the whole next week and they need to work seven hours each day. We'll leave the start time blank, but if your employees work in shifts, you can define their start time here. The gray number next to hours means their daily capacity is seven hours, meaning we've assigned them to work full time just on this project. Here you can add an optional note which can contain more details and instructions about what they need to do. For example, we're going to type in research and design for project B. Finally, click create and you'll see the block appear in the schedule. This block says this person is scheduled to work 7 hours per day, from this to this date, 35 hours in total. You can change the dates of an existing block by dragging the block to some other period, or by dragging the edges to change start and end dates. To create a new assignment, click and drag and fill in the details. Finally, click on the assignment to edit its details or delete it. You can remove the project from view here and later add it back in like this and all its assignments will become visible again. To help you better plan projects, you can add a milestone by clicking on any date. Name the milestone and it will appear on the timeline. You'll notice some blocks have an underline. This indicates someone has an assignment on the project that day, which you can see when you expand the project. If there's a red overline on a block, like here, it means the user is overbooked, which brings us to the capacity topic. Now, each user can work a certain number of hours per day, which is their capacity. You can change capacity here on the Teams tab or from the Team page when you edit their profile. Let's say this person's capacity is 8 hours per day. If we assign them this week 8 hours on this project and next week 4 hours on these two projects each, the blocks above will indicate their schedule for these two weeks is full. If we delete one four-hour assignment, the block will show that they have four hours open, meaning they can take four more hours of work. But if you create an assignment for six hours, the block will become red and say that two hours over their capacity. You can either leave it like this and pay for overtime or readjust the schedule. You'll also notice that when you change dates by dragging the edges of an assignment block, the weekends remain grey. Assignment doesn't have underline, which means those days aren't included in the total. The same goes if a user has time off or a holiday. 
If you need to schedule an assignment on a non-working day, you will need to explicitly click on the weekend or time off to create an assignment. Click on schedule and finally click create. You can change what's considered a non-working day in the workspace settings. Go to settings, find working days, click on the days here and here you can check or uncheck working and non-working days. To learn more about managing projects, budgets and users, be sure to check out our other tutorials. <laughs>